do or do not. There is no try. How do you feel when you hear this message from Yoda? Confident, decisive, enthusiastic, ready to act. Speaking with power, like Yoda, makes your message stronger because it triggers an emotional response. If you could were an average business writer, he would say something like, achieving success requires certain commitments. Do you feel the urge to become a Jedi now? Hi there, my name is Katerina and today we'll talk about the power words. Power words are emotional words that trigger positive or negative response. They make us feel decisive, happy, enthusiastic, scared, curious, or angry. We are more likely to act when the words we read have an emotional punch. To plant emotion into your reader's minds, you need to think how you want them to feel and then pick the words that trigger that emotion. For example, let's say we need to promote a lead magnet that talks about how to become a design lead. To make readers leave their email addresses, we need to create a compelling copy for our pop-up form. What emotion should we aim for here? Somebody who wants to become a design lead must be an ambitious individual who wants to make a successful career. We can make them feel superior and attractive by using power words that trigger vanity. Become an epic design leader. Download our guide to turbocharge your leadership growth. Vanity works well in copy because we care about looking good to others and most importantly, about looking good to ourselves. Now let's look at another example. We need to create copy for a thank you page on our website that appears after our readers have uh, subscribed to our email newsletter. A thank you page is a great way to move our readers down the purchase journey. On this page, we can offer them some additional content in the form of a webinar. In the copy for the thank you page, our job is to make people register for a webinar. What emotion can help us here? Curiosity can help. To trigger this emotion, we need to spice up our copy with words and phrases that trigger curiosity. Sneak peek, trade secret, be the first, eye opening, shh. To make people act even faster, we can play the scarcity game. People attach more value to things that are fewer in number. How about we make this webinar an invitation-only event available to a limited number of participants? Exclusivity and curiosity work well together and to a great effect. Here is how our copy for the thank you page can look like. You're in! Now take a sneak peek at our trade secrets. Thank you for subscribing. Some cool stuff is already on its way. In the meantime, join our webinar to learn five strategies that have brought our clients six-figure business growth. This is an invitation-only event and you can claim a ticket now. Reserve my spot now. You should also use power words in your page titles to increase the click-through rate. Let's look at a few examples of meta titles from Google results page that stand out thanks to power words. The life-changing advice of a hundred insanely interesting people. Life-changing and insanely interesting are power words that make people feel encouraged. How to cook up mouth-watering blog posts. 31 easy tips. The word mouth-watering triggers lust, one of the core human emotions. Together with the phrase 31 easy tips, the offer is too seducing to pass by. Love some life lessons. 13 unethical hacks not to try, ever. Remember when you were a kid and somebody told you not to do something? From that point on, you couldn't think of nothing else, right? By entering forbidden territory and using anger words like lothum and unethical, you make people feel intrigued. Vanity, curiosity, encouragement, fear, lust, greed, anger, sloth, safety, mystery. I've made the whole list of power words that make readers act. You can get it on my website. Check out the link in the description to this video. Before you go, make sure you also check out my video about sensory words, another powerful tool in the copywriter's toolbox. I'll see you next time with a new video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Katerina. Пока-пока!